Miller's focus on Kenya development, then there should not be anywhere in as far as um, focusing on the sugar industry is concerned, there should not be anywhere in terms of importing sugar. Because when you allow a miller to be involved in the importation of sugar, definitely they will not now focus on can development. So my uh, honest uh, thoughts is that the importation of the deficits must be regulated and done by private uh, business people. Rais William Ruto katika ziara yake ya eneo la Magharibi mwezi Mei mwaka huu aliangazia kwa pakubwa jinsi ya kufufua sekta hiyo na hatimaye matunda yakawa kufutilia mbali madeni ya viwanda vya sukari takriban shilingi bilioni 1.17 Hata hivyo maswali yakaibuka yani aje viwanda vinavyomilikiwa na serikali ndivyo vinavyochechemea huku vile vya kibinafsi vikiwa tisti We also have some debts that are not owed to government but are owed to people who are providing other services to the factories, those who are doing transport services, those who are doing plowing services, those who are supplying spares to the factories. Again, you must clearly define that debts mean and include all those debts. So that when you are writing off, you don't write off debts owed to KCB, owed to KRA, owed to so and so and then you go back and realize you have not paid your farmer you have not paid patel for bringing you spare parts you have not paid anjarwal for plowing for you and so on so all those must be dealt with taswira mashambani ni hii wakulima wanatia juhudi kuhakikisha kilimo cha miwa kinawasitiri kiuchumi eneo la msokoto kaunti ya busia wakulima walio chini ya kiwanda cha olepito wa mumbioni kupanda miwa ila wanasema gharama ni ya juu mno na panastahili kuwekwa mikakati kuwa kinga ili wapate faida hapa msokoto wakulima wa miwa ni wengi lakini changamoto imekuwa kwamba tumekosa ule uhusiano ama ile support kutoka kwa most companies za miwa mara nyingi hatupati mbolea labda kupata mbegu inakuwa shida lakini mashamba yapo hasa mashamba ukifanya statistics mashamba ya asairi ya msokoto they are very fertile soils ni ile tu kitu ambayo inakosa ni pepe njeo ama hiyo support ya kupata inputs kutoka the companies lakini kama west kenya na kampuni zingine pia zingeiga mfano wa kuleta pepe njeo kwa ukulima miwa itakuwa kwa wingi sana because shamba iko hasa mimi mwenyewe nasema saa hizi shamba langu ni iko na shamba ikari 30 lakini kwa sababu ya uwezo ya management i cannot manage it so i'm trying bit by bit sasa hii shamba langu around 10 acres ndio iko na mimi input costs are very high the government is just watching and i think it has an intention to ensure the sugar industry dies so that it benefits a few people when you need import sugar na sio nasema hapana i don't the layer hivyo kwa sababu na sio nasema nataka miwa endelee kwa sababu inashika wakulima wengi inashika citizens wengi inashika electorate hapo hapo the region ambao anatoka huko we were about uh, six million plus uh, dependents direct dependents on sugar cane depend on the survivability of the sugar industry miwe yenyewe tangu mwanzoni imepanda kwa kukatwa vipande na kuwekwa mchangani na kukomaa kwa muda wa miezi 18 hadi 24 ila sasa kutokana na mabadiliko ya kisayansi na utafiti imependekezwa mbegu ya kisasa kama mataifa yaliyopiga hatua itumike mbegu hiyo iwe kukomaa mapema sugar is, is, is the easiest area for support to manage they can go back to bookers like here bookatet the company that uh, um, um, started our mumia sugar company or they can go and borrow management from seashells and there are people who will come and manage for them and it will take off where well, we have extension agriculture officers checking on this issue of sugar cane uh, checking on the soil and so on and then making sure that because like mumias we, we have trucks and trucks of land if you go to tea area what they are fighting for is issue pricing mm -hmm. uh, and farmers many current farmers mm -hmm. attract them to sugar cane plantations and so on and then attract government to come in and then a symbol as like that either awali palikuwa na bodi ya sukari baadaye hata hivyo ilivunjiliwa mbali na mamlaka ya vyakula na kilimo nchini afa ikabuniwa na kando na zao la miwa mazao mengine yakarundikwa chini yake 
afa hata hivyo kulingana na wakulima na viongozi haijashughulikia sekta ya sukari ipasavyo na sasa wamependekeza ivunjiliwe mbali na bodi ya sukari kubuniwa upya we believe that um, with the Kenya Sugar Board uh, coming back then uh, issues around the regulatory framework in the sugar industry will be enhanced uh, we are also very uh, happy that uh, the same matter has been properly um, addressed by the current bill, the Wangwe bill, that uh, has already uh, progressed to the Senate. Uh, so we expect that uh, senators, once the House resumes, uh, maybe in February, they will prioritize uh, the passing of the sugar bill so that we have the act. And therefrom, uh, definitely, uh, Kenya Sugar Board will come on board. And we expect now the sugar industry uh, to be revitalized with the uh, Kenya Sugar Board uh, coming back. Ni bayana ukubwa wa mashamba umepungua kwa pakubwa. Hili linatokana na kuongezeka kwa idadi ya watu na hivyo kuweka makazi kwenye yaliyokuwa mashamba ya miwa. Hili limeathiri sana sekta ya sukari na waza la kuunganisha baadhi ya viwanda likawekwa bayana. Viwanda vinavyokaribiana viungane. Hili hata hivyo likipokewa kwa hisia mseto. But we must also know that we are dealing with a sugar sector that has that is facing new challenges as well apart from just uh, the economic challenges when mias sugar was established in 1970s the average farm size here was 30 acres per family today our average farm size is half an acre meaning that if i am milling at mumias Sometimes I have to take a tractor 60 kilometers to Matayos to harvest a half an acre and come back another 60 kilometers, giving me 120 kilometers. We come together and form one sugar belt company. We call this a sugar belt area, one company. And then we ask for the expertise or the experts from Mauritius or from the former Bukatet to see the supervision and to put mechanism in place of implementation and with the support of government and count governments one huge company i'm telling you even those companies like kanani in uh, sudan uh, and uh, other companies that are producing sugar will not be able to match us even brazil anywhere we will be ahead and there will be billions and billions of money in this region the issue of amalgamating uh, sugar factories is not tenable. Uh, when you look at, for example, Zoya Sugar, uh, Zoya Sugar is in uh, Bongoma uh, County. It has its own structures, they have their own employees, uh, they have their own corporate cultures, etc. etc. Uh, Mumiazi Sugar, uh, it's in Kakamega County. Of course, Kwasi uh, government, uh, because government has 20% interest. Uh, when you go to West, uh, Kenya is private, Butali is private. So in my view, uh, amalgamating is not viable. Let's have a stringent uh, regulatory framework so that the sugar factories operate within a legal framework for them to thrive as opposed to amalgamating them. Juhudi hizi zote zinapowekwa hata hivyo wadau waku wanahoji usimamizi wa viwanda hivi viwe vya serikali au kibinafsi ndio unaostahili kuwajibika zaidi. Alano Chanda KTN News.